She doesn't like people, you know, upset. She doesn't, you know what I mean? She likes to balance everyone out and, and almost remain neutral. Okay, so right now we're not heavy feeling anger. We're not heavy feeling happiness or, ang and, you know, even this dull energy. We're just, we're coming in like, all right. So nothing's going to really be able to break us, okay? We're, we're in our own happy, we're in our own bubble, okay? And we're making sure that everyone around us and everything that we do is in that same energy, okay? We're doing it, we're living in this just way of um, balance, With this sword here also that the, that justice holds, it's like we're very firm on what we're saying and who we are and the energy that we want to be in. We're not trying to let anyone get into our space and our bubble, our bubble and ruin our mojo, okay? So <clears throat> this is an energy that we're calling, that is calling us, okay, or that some of us have already mastered and that we are in this energy, coming in neutral, not wanting anyone to rain on our parade, but also having a firm head on our shoulders and a mouth okay we have a filter but we're making sure that no one's able to hurt our feelings or hurt someone else's feelings okay we're coming in stabilized we're coming in very stable and just with everything that we do and all that are around us okay so again we're not extremely into love offers or extremely not we're just neutral okay so it's kind of like we've been there, done that right now, and we've been through a world of hurt, of course, with our Divine Masculine and them being with their karmics and everything else that's in our lives. And we're just, we're being safe. We're being safe and we're being strong and we're being, we have a lot of common sense, okay? With this Two of Wands, this is more stability that we have planning our next move. So we're doing a lot of thinking about what we're going to do next. We know that we're focusing on ourselves and where we're going to go. Mostly alone, but to something in the future. So we know that right now we're not worried about the people offering us. We're not even worried about the people who are negative. Okay, we're just staying composed. And we're planning and we're, 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 we're planning in secret. Okay, we're not letting everyone know our moves. Okay, so we're not saying yes, we're not saying no. We're just like doing what's best for us. And us alone, okay? Because we can see into the future that there's going to be happiness. We're going to be victorious. But right now, we're just planning and looking at all the options that we have. And a lot of us, okay, Divine Feminines, we have a world of options. It's just to choose kind of where we're going to go. Okay, we're looking, we're looking at our actions and what we're doing. And we're making sure everything we're doing is just right. You know what I mean? It's balanced. It's not bad it's not you know not to say not good but it's um not too good to be true you know what i mean it's just what's going to get us by without falling in love maybe again falling in a love that we weren't prepared for or getting into an argument that we shouldn't be getting into okay so we're making sure we're planning you know wisely and strategically about those moves that we are making and the moves that we're going to make this um night of Wands is someone who wants to have some passion, some fun again, okay? Someone who who maybe is feeling like, okay, so since they're planning, they're still where they are. Maybe that's where their feeling is like in the middle of nowhere, okay? Someone that maybe is feeling that they need to just get up and go, get on their horse and get going, but they want to go to something that will be victorious, okay? That's why they're planning. That's why we're planning. We want to go to something that will be victorious. We're not just taking love offers or just any offers or from work or anything. We're not just taking anything that can just sit there and pile up. You know what I mean? We're just making sure that we come in with the right head on our shoulders. We're thinking. We're planning. We're being smart. But at the same time, it's like we really are still thinking about this passion. Okay, we all know what the passion feels like. We felt it with our divine masculines. We felt it with our karmics. I mean, we felt it. We felt this passion and we want that. We want like some fun, some adventure again. Okay, we've been through a lot. We feel like everything we've been doing is hard labor and hard work and we're just ready to get on our horse and go. Have some fun. Find the passion, okay? The insight, I keep wanting to say. And we come up with the seven of wands, some more stability, but it's looking like we're getting a little frantic because these are things that we want and need and that are we are doing as well. And, you know, some, it's, this is not necessarily a bad thing. This is someone who works hard, okay, and he's, 
he's moving fast okay he's like competing you know like it's it's a a competing nature where it's like okay, you want to do the best you know when you go work and when you go to work it's a, it's a competition who can make the most sales and so I think this is what you're doing in your day-to-day -day life whether it's at work or not but you're still making sure that you can stay balanced you're making sure that you can you know stay level-headed and, and and remain neutral okay you don't want to make mistakes anymore you don't want to keep making mistakes so it's like this is how you're working in order to like maintain your goal, stay on track. That's how I see this card. And I don't really see anything bad about it except for if, you know, we're thinking about passion and we want to be neutral, we want to come in correct, you know what I mean, be balanced. We at least want all of our work to level up, you know, like look more presentable than that. Presentable, is it presentable? Yeah, presentable than that. So we want them all to be leveled at least, balanced in a sort of speak, right? our shoes okay so something about us is a little off and if we're coming in with this justice here you know this balance okay then you know and mental clarity common sense then we shouldn't really be looking like this so this is what's saying that sometimes when we're doing the right thing we can still come off kind of frantic and maybe we're not looking our best and we're not keeping ourselves up we're not completely balanced so with the three of wands tells me that again that we're not there yet but we're planning and we're, we're, we're on our way to becoming established. We, we are doing the right thing and we're coming in with the right frame of mind. But we have to watch out for this Seven of Wands right here. And at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy is the Ace of Swords. So we're being given more mental clarity by the Divine. It's because it's kind of fading here because it got a little, it got a little hazy with this passionate adventure. Maybe the offers we're getting is, you know, distracting us. Maybe it's like you know, with the offers that we're getting. Or this is just a new frame and state of mind for us to be neutral. And we're just kind of like, ugh, is this really how we got to do it? It's kind of boring that way. All right. And then so we started planning. We're planning. We're looking at everything that we've done. And we're like, ugh, that's so boring. I want passion. I want adventure. Let's go. You know what I mean? So we're just like, ugh, but I can't because I have to do this. I have to work. So you're back at the drawing board and you're like, ugh, okay, well, I've gotten thus far. Let me get another let me get another idea that I can plan into the ground and so forth until we're like, you know, the ten of wands. Or we, we have completed our goal, right? We don't want to be the ten of wands, just feeling like we're carrying burdens. But you understand like completing a cycle. So with the overall energy, we're being given mental clarity, new perspectives and communication. So we can heighten this overall energy, this our beginning energy, how we're this is how we're supposed to start our day, feeling like justice, like balance, mental clarity. Not to say to be neutral, but to have a level head so that you know that what's coming your way is to serve you or if it's to not. And then you know how to sort through those options accordingly, just, right? So that's what we're be given, being given by the divine because they see that we're working and we're coming up with all different types of ideas and we're... we're passing the tests okay as far as repentance goes with the offers and things and we're still thinking about ourselves and they see that that's why we spiraled so that's that's harmless and that's when the divine will start to step in and help you so let's clarify uh the two of wands let's see what we're planning what we're thinking divine feminines spirit tell us what the divine feminines are thinking what we're planning with the two of wands what are we planning with the two of wands? What are some of us planning? Guys, remember, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Okay, look, the three of cups. <clears throat> so a lot of us are just like, God, we're so tired of like, I think a lot of us feel like this is so boring to be, just to be like that, just to be like, oh, you know, we're on the journey to getting the person we want. And it's like, oh, we got to live like boring like this. We can't go out and have fun. So it's like a lot of us are kind of sidetracked and we're thinking about going out and partying with the girls with the three of cups here. Okay. We're thinking about like a good time. We're thinking about having a good time right now. Okay. Instead of um, ignoring offers. Okay. Being neutral about offers. What else? Actually, no. I saw, ooh, the High Priestess is at the bottom. So, all right. So, what else about the Two of Wands? About the Divine Feminines? What are we planning? What are we thinking? What are we planning with the Two of Wands? 
What are we planning with the Two of Wands? Okay, happiness, mental clarity. We want to be happy. Okay, right now we're not. We're just neutral as justice comes in. So I feel like some of us need to be in this energy. Okay, this is where some of us have to be in order to not focus so much on offers instead of, and, and, and this passionate adventure, but more so on our work up for ourselves. Some of us are just like, oh, bump that. It's so boring. So we're just looking for happiness, okay? Like a distraction. What else about the two of ones? Let's get one more card for the two of ones. Spirit. What the divine feminines are planning. What we're thinking. Okay, so, yeah. The uh, nine of swords. It looks like we're looking at why we ended up here in the first place. Kind of like, not under, like, it's like we understand why we had to come in, like, really, like, balanced and I think some of us really just think it's boring to live like this to ultimately get someone that we're gonna like be mad frisky with is kind of really what I understand and so we're just like having this anxiety because we know where we're supposed to go but it's kind of out of our reach with the queen of cups at the bottom let's clarify the nine of swords here oh yeah strength strength Okay, some of us are like, ooh, and look who's right at the bottom, overlooking that. Don't want you to be strong. This is the karmic partner. This is a negative energy. Okay, while while this card highlights that this this queen of wands has a dark side. So this could be you, but it's also that there's a dark energy in the mists of your changing. Okay, of you wanting happiness and thinking about it as like boring and something you don't want to do. So the so the, the, the deck says to have strength because you're like thinking that you're going nowhere because you're thinking that you want happiness and what you're doing is not going to lead you to happiness or overall that it's not making you happy right now. So you just need some strength to realize that, you know, this, this, this path, okay, is not going to defeat you if this lion couldn't, you know, be, be, uh ferocious, you know, be, be confident, be strong that this is taking you somewhere even if you have to kind of like die down a little bit your party girl or you know all that for a moment just be strong and know that you're good you've got this right so let's clarify <laughs> let's clarify this seven of wands just one card for the seven of wands spirit tell me about the seven of wands why the divine feminine okay it's, it's more fast-paced action. It's ambitious. So you're ambitious here and you're ambitious here. And it's just, okay, it's like that's how if you're going to get it done, it's going to get done fast. You know what I'm saying? But I like, I want to highlight the fact that he's going towards the past. So you may not be working. We know that you're not working in the right way when you're working like that because you're supposed to be balanced and we're like all out of whack. And then this guy's going to the past, so it's telling me that you're taking a step or a few steps or a few miles back when, you, when you're doing it like that, when you're supposed to work in diligence in order to get things properly done. Ace of Swords again. So what the, 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 the deck, okay, wants to remind you, the, the, the divine, your spirit guides wants to remind you to have mental clarity, okay? You got this. Just like wusa all right and communicate with others open you know start talking to people because often when you keep this bottled inside and you don't think that people understand you you end up frantic you know what i'm saying you end up running around in the wrong direction it's like this is mainly mental clarity that the divine is trying to give you it's like yo you're good can we get an advice card for the divine feminine just one advice card okay the magician look at you you are resourceful you you can have it all you have it all so get ready to take on all of the obstacles that you need to take on, all of the hurdles, right? Usain Bolt, all right? This is who you are, so don't underestimate yourself. Be strong and come in balance. Nobody said to be boring, but do balance the way that you know how to be balanced in everything that you do so that you're not setting yourself back in who you are because you're lashing out or you're too sad and you're too hurt, right? You have all the materials. You have all the resources and the elements of life. Use all of them accordingly and balance yourself out, okay? Because too much of one thing is never good. All right, Divine Feminine, so that's the current energy, guys. Let me know what you think below. If you want a personal reading, if you want to know more, please visit the link below. My email will be there, and you can contact me that way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.